Okay, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to create exactly this as you see on your screen using Redshift and Cinema 4D. It's going to be very, very easy. Now, the first thing, thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new project and I'm going to go into my folder here and I'm going to drag this gummy.fbx in. And as you can see, there's uh, a bit of a mess going on with this grouping. I'm going to select all of these. I'm going to uh, find this connect objects plus delete. And as you can see, there's only one object now. I'm going to change this to gummy not worm but bear next I'm gonna delete this material because I won't be using this and one more thing there's this access point which is uh, kind of messed up I'm gonna search for access center I'm gonna press enter and click this execute and as you can see it has moved to the center of this gummy bear and you can move it with uh, just easier to it's easier to move it so now I'm going to create a dome light and I'm going to again go in this uh, folder here and I'm going to drag in this Lebombo 8K which I also got from the internet. Links are of course in the description and if you click this render button here you can see that there's light all over the place. Now I will create this cube and I will change this to 50 not to zero but to 50 uh, this one to 2.5 and this one also to 50 and now if you look at the reference picture these gummy bears are on the corner so I'm gonna move this cube to the um, so that the gummy bear is on the corner now also what you can see is that the light is coming from the back of these gummy bears so I'm gonna take this dome light and I'm gonna rotate it around so that the window is um, facing the back of this gummy bear. Next I will simply create two materials. The first one will be for the bear and the second one will be for this uh, desk. Now I will change the size of this bear five times so that it's five times smaller than the original and I'm gonna again move this to the corner of this because I actually did it uh, before I changed the size so now I have to do it again but you know it's all good now for this gummy bear material all you have to do is go in this uh, material here uh, reflection you can change to something like 0.33 and then you will drag this uh, refraction weight all the way to 1 and you will increase the scatter scale some to something like this. Now if you change this, change this transmittance color to let's say red, the same color than uh, was in my picture here, it's kind of pink red but you know red will do for now. And next if you change this absorption scale as you can see if I click this uh, multiple times, it will finally give this um, gummy bear uh, some color. I think that I have to go in my redshift render settings and change this progressive passes to something like 32 so that it's easier to see any details and so that the render is uh, uh, better quality. Now you might have noticed that in this picture there are three gummy bears, but in my there's only one. What's about, uh, what, what can we do about that? Uh, well, it's actually very simple. You can just hold down control and drag it and this is going to create two more gummy bears. Now you also might have noticed that the desk here, uh, this it has a rounded corner and that is actually uh, of no problem to us because we can just simply enable this fillet and change this to 0.3 or maybe to 0.2 and uh, that's it. Now I think it would be nice to add this redshift camera because uh, camera is gonna change the whole scene. The, um, if, if I change the focal length to 55 which is the exact number that uh, I used to, t um, to take this picture you can see that the change uh, the scene has been changed uh, a bit. Now I think I will move these gummy bears to the side 
I will select all of them and move them to the side here. And as you might have noticed, one of the gummy bears is uh, lying on the ground, ground, one is on top of him, and one is just looking at them uh, doing their thing. Now I will try to make it uh, very uh, similar, uh, give them very similar positions as are in the picture. Um, this one goes on top and it's uh, looking to the side a bit, right? So I will drag it down like this and I think both of these ones really need to go somewhere here. And I don't know what this black part is all about. I'm gonna change, uh, I'm gonna look and see if I can do something about it. I do think that you can uh, you can get rid of that by going in this reflection and changing it to something like this, which is actually more similar to what I have here. It's even more rough in this picture. Now I will take this camera, I will click on this camera and I will um, zoom in so that the scene is very similar to what I have uh, in the picture. And actually I think I have to drag them up, uh, uh, not up, but uh, uh, further, further away from the camera a bit. Um, yeah, maybe even more, more so. So, no, actually a little bit closer, okay. So this is gonna be good. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select the camera, I'm gonna go to frame zero, which I was already at, and I'm gonna press this uh, keyframe button. And what's, what this is gonna do is this is gonna allow me to simply rotate around, and if I play the animation or move one frame um, further or uh, back, backward, the, ca the camera is gonna go back to the original location, uh, original like location. So this is a very good way to ch just, uh, if you have found a very good angle that you don't want to lose by simply like rotating around, you can just uh, make uh, create this keyframe here and whenever you play the animation or do whatever, it's gonna jump back to the same location. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna duplicate this material I'm gonna change this to orange, I will change this to green, and I'm gonna apply uh, this green material to the gummy bear number two, and this orange material to the gummy bear number one. Now you also might have noticed by looking at this picture that these gummy bears that I did get from Sketchfab Link um, have a little less, uh, a little more detail than the real ones from the real life from real life where I, where I bought them in the store. So for that, I'm gonna search for this smoothing deformer, hold down shift, press enter, and as you can see, uh, this gummy bear has lost some of its detail, and in very rare circumstances, like in my case here, it's actually desirable to lose those um, details. Uh, so I'm gonna duplicate this uh, to the gummy bear number one, and uh, also to the gummy bear number two. And as you can see, now that it has lost some detail, uh, there's some space here, so I have to move it uh, a bit to the down, down a bit. So, and actually, there's a very cool new tool which you can use here. It's called, uh, yeah, D dynamic place. You can find it by searching for dynamic uh, place, yeah. So now, uh, if you take this tool, you can simply um, drag this gummy bear like this, and it's gonna try to it's gonna try to kind of match this, uh, not match it, but uh, collide it so that it's sitting on top of this uh, first gummy bear here. And in this case, I think it actually uh, does doesn't work that good. Oh no, yeah, it does work. So, and, and you can actually rotate this like this and it's gonna, yeah, it's, it's gonna make it sit uh, very comfortably on this first, on the gummy bear number two. Okay, so I'm gonna drag this a bit like this and that's it. And actually, you know what? I'm gonna uh, do the same thing for these ones. 
I'm gonna drag them down. I'm gonna select uh, this one. I'm gonna drag this also down. And I'm gonna select this one and drag it one more time. So this looks better, I think. Now I think that in my picture, the light is a little bit more, it's a little cooler. So I'm gonna go in this tint, I'm gonna choose a blue color, and I'm gonna change this so that it looks uh, a little bit more cool, cooler. Uh, the warmth is not as warm. Now you can go in this Redshift camera, you can click this focus distance and click on here, and if you go in this bokeh, bokeh, or I don't know how is, this is pronounced, but whatever, you know, you click this enabled, and as you can see, there is some uh, depth of field going on here. And I will try one more time to create this focus distance so that it's not as blurry for the gummy worms that are in the in the front and actually it's it looks like it's a little too strong so I'm gonna change this to 0.5 no this is this is not the one yeah 0 0.03 or 0.4 yeah this is gonna be okay now I'm gonna change the color of this to something a little darker and more to the blue side. Now I think that this scene needs more light because unfortunately this is not ex this HDR map is not as exactly the same as my picture. So I'm gonna need to create some more lights here coming from the top to kind of recreate this um, this light which is uh, kind of shi shining from these um, the top of these gummy bears. So let me just create this one and I think that I will create one more here. I'm gonna change, um, yeah, I'm gonna move it uh, to the side like this and I'm gonna change this intensity to something lower and also I'm gonna change the temperature to something cooler because all of the lights from the, in my picture are kind of a little bit to the blue. I will just uh, change these settings a bit so that the, there's more light coming here. And now if I go in this gummy bear material, uh, actually I will have to go in all of these and do the same thing because I will create this bump map and I will also choose a Maxon noise here. And I will connect this noise to the bump map, choose input here, and choose uh, this one output and connect this to overall bump map. Now if I were to change my camera, actually I can do it by uh, clicking here, and if I were to zoom in, I think I should be able to see this bump map. I and I am not seeing it probably because if you click on this Maxon noise and go in this solo node, you can see that this noise is too big and you have to change it to something like 0 0.01 or even less, 0 0.005. So now I can change this noise to this one and maybe change this uh, so that it's even uh, smaller. Now if I change this height scale to something like 005, you will see that uh, these, um, these kind of little imperfections are uh, quite small and they are not overwhelming and they can uh, uh, really um, like make this look a little bit more realistic, especially if you zoom in and uh, you can see exactly the, uh, the, the surface and you can see that there's all, all these imperfections and the light is um, it's kind of breaking in a more natural way. Okay so one more thing you can do is you can uh, take this bear and you can find this bend deformer and if you hold down shift and press enter you will see that um, this bend deformer uh, becomes a child of this gummy bear and now you can uh, change the strength to stretch this bear and if you look at my picture here you can see that it has kind of bent uh, to the front so now I will uh, select this keep length so that it doesn't stretch as you can see it kind of becomes bigger uh, now but if you select this keep length it will not become bigger it will kind of use all of the volume that is in this particular object 
So now I will bend it to the side a bit and now I will change the angle so that it bends to the front. And actually I have to drag this back a bit. And that's it. You can of course experiment more with all of these materials. You can add more um, displacement or bump maps to make these uh, look better. But this is the basic idea that I use to create this. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed this. If you have uh, some suggestions or if you think that there's a better way to do this or there's there are some things that I'm missing, please write those in the comments. And yeah, see you on the next video.